and good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 2nd, 2016. It is day two of the $1 per day husband and wife challenge. And what we've decided to do, my husband and I, we're only going to spend $1 or less on the food items that we buy. The money that we save by only spending a dollar or less will be able to use to buy food for the homeless and those who are less fortunate. Today I'm already here. I'm at my local grocery store, Kroger, and I'm getting ready to go inside to see what deals I can find. Well, today is Wednesday and normally they have new ads on Wednesdays, so hopefully they'll have some really great products that just become on sale and I'll be able to take advantage of maybe one of them. Anyway, I'm at the store. I'm getting ready to go inside. So let's see what awaits us. Come on. All right, guys. I'm back here at Walmart again. And I kind of enjoyed the meal that I had yesterday. So here I am about to go back inside and kind of find the same meal, but maybe just with a little bit variation. Come follow me inside. Walk down the house. Now it's time to see what can a dollar buy you or less within a Walmart super center. Here we go, remember, just one dollar. All right, so I'm here in Kroger. I'm actually in the produce section and it looks like they have some fruit on sale. Look at here, can you walk with me over here? They have these wonderful limes and lemons and, well there's the lemons and oranges over there. And guess what, they're only five, five for a dollar. Hmm, so I could essentially get five of these and still be within golf. All right, guys, so here I am back inside. I actually am. I'm not sure exactly what I'm getting or what I'm interested in, but you'll know just as soon as I know. So my husband, he's not the only one who likes the produce section and is on a quest for eating healthy. I also found some yellow squash. See, it's all right here. It's only $1.99 a pound, which really isn't all that great, but if I just get one, like maybe maybe this small one right here it might be okay we'll see yikes walmart has chocolate cake and also here's another one of my favorites but then again i can't have that either kind of out of my range yikes and now i'm in candy galore but it's all about satisfying the nourishment of your body and not the pleasures of your tongue. So, I guess back to the challenge, guys. Like yesterday, I am on the canned meat items. And um, I have decided to think about, again, getting these Vienna sausage. It's the chicken ones, because remember, I don't really do the pork thing. And these were two for a dollar, so this might be a go or a yes for today we'll see and as you see such a large variety and selection of groceries but i'm only tasked with finding something that fits within this one dollar my lucky dollar and guess what i just found one of my favorites which are bar as winners but we kind of don't do the pork thing anymore but it fits right there within my budget so we'll see and i guess get back to focus okay, so i'd really like to get some oatmeal or something like that today um but i don't think it's going to be within my budget range so i'm not going to be able to get it um look at these prices 379 summer 269 there's some down here for a dollar 19 but that puts me over, oh, can you see the price? Yeah. It puts me over my dollar goal, so eh, I guess that's gonna be a no for today. Okay, and look what else I found. Something that actually lasts me for even maybe the rest of the week, I'm pretty sure three days at minimum. Uh, and yep, you guessed it. Long grain rice and you see only 50 cents. And since I am a beast at this and Marsha is still an amateur, um, this will actually, my goal is to actually spend more now and this will help me save later. With this particular challenge, you definitely have to get some type of vegetable 
the, I think I'll take some broccoli. And this time not one, but two asparagus. And again, guys, it looks like I got lucky this time. Yesterday, the bananas were 49 cents a pound. Today, you see that they are only 32 cents a pound. Well, okay, guys, I guess that concludes my shopping for the day. So now let's head to the register and see how much it all costs. Doing this challenge has really given me a moment to really think about some different things. I mean, when you only have a dollar to spend, just one, then there are so many things that might even be on sale that you have to put back because you don't have enough money. Well, hopefully what my husband and I are doing, hopefully it'll start something within America. Um, maybe it'll be a trend. Maybe we all can do something together. If, if one person does something, two people can do more, three and four and so forth. So hopefully we are here and are able to make a difference in the lives of those who actually need it. So today, this is what I'm getting. I've decided to go with this can of Vienna sausage, okay? It's only two for a dollar. And the other thing that I'm gonna get is this lovely citrusy orange. Yeah, okay, so I'm headed to the register. Let's see how I've done. And since I am a beast at this and Marsha's still an amateur. It's time for checkout. I wonder what I am going to end up with as my total. Will I be at home today? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, and I forgot to tell y'all that Marsha is a lot much more of a professional at this than I am. So her video might be interesting, but my prices are definitely be better than hers. And Let's since see. I am a beast at this and Marsha is still an amateur. Right, I am done for the day. Let's see what my grand total was. And since I am a beast at this and Marsha is still an amateur. All right, goodbye Kroger. I'll see you again tomorrow. Hey guys, well now I'm back here in the car getting ready to head home and Marsha put everything together, see how things went. Um, actually, I came out with one good deal. I really love bananas. I like bananas a lot. Um, it would have been a snack for me, but once I put a banana onto my bill it came out to be a dollar and one cent and i asked the cashier to take the banana back off um it's actually something that i can probably do without uh, she looked at me like oh you don't have one cent and i let her know well my wife and i were trying to spend less so we can feed more um so anyway that's uh that's a tip that I did that um, that I'll probably outdo Marsha again this time. Like I said, I'm a beast at this, and her, she's uh, just an uh, amateur.